getting pretty busy in here. I should always see a backpacker who's bitten off more than they can chew, probably hungover, trying to have a sleep on their bag. Getting crazy full in here. Anna's having her I told you so moment, saying that we should have got closer before all these people got here. Seedy this morning, and I bought our first finished beers of the trip. This gives you an idea of just how bad he's feeling. He hasn't even tried his beer. I'm trying to do it. Oh, yeah. Any excuse. Oh, delicious beer. <laughs> As you can see, I'm quietly enjoying this. <laughs> Just popped out the top here. Just bring the girls. Pretty icy. Great views though. Finland for two minutes and we're already getting help from the locals. Officially in Scandinavia. Hey. <laughs> Officially Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Grabbing something to eat. We're able to store our bags in storage at the railway station. It said eight euros for 24 hours. We could fit both of our big bags in there, uh, but it only cost Anna six, which is strange. Mm -hmm. A little window into our Scandinavian trip so far. 48 euros, two burgers, fries, and chicken bites. Two poppers and two cokes. Sorry, Can we wake up? It is a specialty burger place, so we'll I, see. I will say, despite being 48 euros, it's probably the best burger I've ever had in my life. That makes it better. It's done medium rare, so you know that it's quality mints. Anna just told me that Finland was voted the happiest country in the world again for the fifth time in a row. And I reckon it's because their burgers are so delicious. They are very good. Anna and I hate sparkling water. Uh -huh. And so every time we come to a new country with a language we don't speak, we play the game, is it gassy yes. or is it still? And today we lost, it's gassy. The marathon continues. It's only about seven o'clock. We're just at Burger King at the railway station. Yep. Train doesn't come into like 11.50 or something. We leave 11.15. Train will probably be there about quarter two. Good, because I thought it was 11.50. It was even closer. Still waiting for this train. 10 to nine. Mm. It is now. 
20 past 10. I am exhausted. I'm just exhausted. We've still got another 45 on the train leaves. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be here in the next 15 minutes though. The other train was half an hour early and Owen has some backpack envy. He just discovered a guy who has a backpack that turns into a chair. So there is three different options for cabins. First is seating only, which is economy, and the girls would have been free, but they have to sit on our lap for the whole 12 hours. So that was a no. The next one is a four bed with a shared bathroom which we could have done, but and unless you get all four beds together, but it's not guaranteed. You could have two in one and two in another. You don't have to book out the whole cabin. So it was option three, which is the most expensive option, which is a two bedroom, two bed with a private shower and bath. So hopefully they both sleep. We think our train is finally here, about half an hour early. Yes, it is. The sign is up. We've gone and done it. Carriage 59. Walking past all the way up to first class. Hey, do you think we should go visit our neighbours? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm. Ella, we're in here. Ah. Look, I'm glad we didn't go with option one, which was us for all in one two bedroom. Yeah, okay, no way. <laughs> what do you think about sleeping on a train? I sleep on a train. I wake up on my on my arms. Did you have a good sleep on the train? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit squishy here. We only use one bed because I thought it should roll off. And we get a private bathroom, kind of like an airport toilet. We're gonna get ready and get something to eat. We're dressed and ready. Should we go and find Laura? Uh -uh. Uh -huh. You got some yogurt? Yeah. yeah. How was your sleep on the train? Okay. I kept waking up when it was like a big turn. I don't know if it was on the top bunk, but it felt like I was really moving. What about you? It was okay mostly. I left that four times. Here we are, trying to get dressed on the train. It's not much room, especially here where it's minus 10 at the moment, but it feels like minus 17. And the girls get quite frustrated putting all their layers on. Ella's on her last one. Laura's only half dressed. But they look so cute, all puffed up. Come here, puff. Puff. Oh, that was horrific getting off that train. But here we are, we're gonna find our bus. First taxi on the trip. 